two primes, no zooms, an evening in Copenhagen. So I've just arrived in Copenhagen, Denmark. My first time in Denmark. I've never been here before. We're here for about 11 hours. We're on our way to the Faroe Islands tomorrow and uh, we've ended up with an overnight layover, which is great. I love it when that happens and you get to actually leave the airport and explore a new, new country or a new place. So I thought I'd bring the camera along uh, this evening. We'll get lost, we'll go for a wonder. I've got a couple of places that I've pinned on a map that I wanted to check out. Um, but other than that, super loose, we'll go for a wonder, eat some food, and more importantly, drink some beer as it is the home of Colesburg. And we'll try and take some photos along the way. So it's five o'clock now. I've been up since the crack of dawn this morning, traveling from the northernmost points of Norway. And uh, I need a coffee. Huge fan of Copenhagen already, just for the 7-Eleven. It's just like being back in Japan. So in terms of camera gear, I've gone super light for my standards anyway. We've got the Bellroy Venture Sling. Shout out to Bellroy for sending me this because it's been an absolute lifesaver when I'm traveling around cities and stuff. Camera gear, the A7 IV paired with the 24mm 1.4 G Master. You already know what the next lens is going to be. The 85mm 1.4, that's it. Two primes, no zooms. An evening in Copenhagen. So why the 24 mil, I hear you say? Now this is obviously all personal preference, but there's something so unique and special about this focal length and this lens in particular that just does it for me. I feel like it incorporates this kind of greatness within your image that I just can't seem to replicate, say out of a 35 mil. Now, if you was using a 35 mil, I guess you could take a few steps back to get more within your scene, but there's something so unique about the 24 mil focal length that just ticks all of the boxes. I've literally shot everything with this focal length and this lens in particular. Weddings, portraits, street photography, landscapes. I even just shot the Northern Lights in Norway with it. It's a focal length and a lens especially that can do it all. It's wide, but not wide enough where you get that distorted look, like say a 16 mil. Absolutely perfect. It's small, discreet, lightweight, perfect to throw on your camera, hit the streets, go to the hills and shoot landscapes. A lens and a focal length that can do it all. The images as well that come out of this are tack sharp. Patience is a 
virtue. Is that the right one to say? So I've always heard good things about Copenhagen and I can concur after spending about three hours here this afternoon that the hype is real and it is a little bit of a vibe. 